Hello, welcome back to Kids Zone. I wonder if you have a favourite teacher at school, one who is kind and fair, interesting to listen to, and is good at explaining things, and can make learning fun. My first school teacher was Mrs Lloyd Williams, who I liked very much probably because she was a kind sort of person. Jesus was a popular teacher, though he wasn't a school teacher. Wherever Jesus went, a crowd would gather round, adults and children, to listen to his teaching and to watch as he healed sick people. Jesus taught about God, what he's really like, how he wants to live our lives and the good news of forgiveness and eternal life for those who follow him. One day, as a big crowd was gathering, Jesus climbed a little way up a mountainside and sat down to teach, with his disciples sitting around him. With him sitting up there, everyone could see and hear him. Jesus' teaching that day is known as the Sermon on the Mount. You can find it in your Bible in Matthew chapters 5, 6 and 7. Today we're going to look at Matthew chapter 5 verses 43 to 48. Jesus is teaching about the laws God gave to Moses. The people listening, even the children, knew these laws very well because all Jewish children learnt them off by heart at primary school. Richard is going to read Jesus' words. You and I need to imagine that we're in the crowd, sitting on the mountainside, listening to Jesus. What might we be thinking? You have heard the law that says, love your neighbour and hate your enemy. Hang on, that's not quite right. It doesn't actually say hate your enemy, does it? Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. It says, <laughs> do not seek revenge or bear a grudge but love your neighbour as yourself. God did not say, hate your enemy. But that's what we've been taught. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. What? Love the Roman soldiers who've conquered us. Pray for the tax collectors who work for the enemy and make money out of us. In that way, you'll be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives sunlight to both the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the just and unjust alike. I suppose that's true. God's good gifts are for everyone, not just his friends. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there for that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you're only kind to your friends, are you different from anyone else? Even pagans do that. Well, that's true. Everyone's kind to their friends. There's nothing unusual about that. But you must be perfect, even as your Father in Heaven is perfect. So that's what God wants. For me to love my enemies as well as my friends. Like he does. That's such a high standard. When Jesus says, love your enemies, what do you think he means? 
Well, an enemy is someone who is against you, who hurts you. The opposite of a friend. It could be someone who is unkind to you, or tells lies about you, or is a bully. Even very young children sometimes hurt each other. As we found out when our grandchildren, Rebecca and Hannah, came to stay with us very recently. Often they play nicely together, but just now and again, they hurt each other. Can you think of a time when someone said or did something to hurt you? Perhaps it was at school or at home. Or if you're older, maybe on social media. How did you feel? How did you respond? It's hard not to feel angry when someone hurts us. We want to pay them back. We don't want to forgive them. But that's not God's way. No, Jesus tells us to love our enemies, to do good to people who are unkind to us, and to pray for them. Then we will be behaving like God our Father in heaven, and other people will notice that we are different. And we'll be happier people if, like Jesus, we forgive those who hurt us or who have been unkind to us. Being angry or trying to pay people back only makes us miserable. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear God, thank you for teaching us to love our enemies as well as our friends. We want to forgive and to be kind to everyone, even to those who are unkind to us but we find it hard. So please help us, because we want to be more like you. Amen. Amen. Of course, although Jesus teaches us to love our enemies, he doesn't want us to be hurt or bullied. So if you have a problem, it's important to tell an adult you trust about it and let them help you deal with it. And now for this, this week's craft, which is a memory verse cube. Here we are. You will find the template on the church website to print off. And we say a big thank you to Mina because this idea is taken from her website, which is called Flame, and she's given us permission to use her idea for craft this week. The memory verse is from Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, and it says, But I tell you, love your enemies, pray for those who treat you badly. So you cut out your template, and you fold it along the lines and fold down the tabs like so. You fold it up and you use a little bit of Pritt stick and you stick it all together and it makes a very nice, neat little cube like that. Uh, Richard has coloured this one first make it a bit more cheerful and then when your dice is ready then you need to play a game with your partner what you do is you take it in turns to roll the dice your turn Richard and you have to get a one to start ah Richard's got one so Richard writes down the first bit of the verse okay and then I have a go and I haven't got one yet. And then when Richard gets up, ah, I get I've got a number one, so I get the first bit of the verse. And then Richard tries to get a number two. 
And when Richard gets a number two... You've got number two. Oh, I've got number two. Then I write the second bit of the verse down. And the winner is the first person to get the whole verse down. Okay? So I hope you enjoy doing that. And have a good week. Bye. Bye.